Mighty Mountains, Swirling Seas Poems by Valerie Blue Illustrations by Alessandra Cimatoriabus Forest Forest, home to baboon Elephant, leopard, the giants of the jungle And home to ants River, river, moving cargo in barges to the sea, pounding rocks, destroying homes, and singing. Mountain volcano, this is the giant that sleeps, gentle as a babe, until anger like a fountain erupts. Valley. Sitting, a referee, between hills which once were one. Peacemaker, keeping them from clashing. Blue Mountain All night we climbed the mountain, excited in the dark. The flare from the small lamps up ahead looked like a tiny spark. We reached the top just as the sun was wiping the sleep from its eyes and sending out red fingers to investigate the skies. It suddenly leapt out of bed, wrapped the world in an orange flame, and we gasped in wonder at the sight. This was why we came. We watched the shy blush spread across, the face of the bashful sky. We saw the cars like tiny ants in the roads below crawl by. We heard birds to chirp awake, saw them flit across to plunder. The rose apples and the hog plum tree heard a waterfall roar like thunder. We washed our faces with the dew, breathed the perfume of the four o'clock, watched a lizard climb a stone to sun itself, then scuttle away in shock. We headed back down the mountain. The sun was wide awake and bright. Our legs were tired and heavy, but inside our hearts were light. I am a wall, a riddle. I am a wall, sheltering you from cold. I am as ancient as the world is old. I am a fountain from which springs are born. I am a mother nursing the wolf club and the fawn. I am a building, a sturdy tower of strength. I am a backbone, measuring the earth's length. I am a guard, keeping watch on high. I am a giant finger pointing to the sky. I have a foot but cannot move. I own a heart yet cannot love. What am I? A mountain. In Yellowstone Park In Yellowstone Park, big horn sheep roam. Here bison and bobcats have their home. There's the grey wolf and the grizzly bear, mountain lion and white-tailed deer, coyotes and chipmunks, elk and moose, fishes, snakes and the Canada goose, bald eagles and osprey, loons and hawk, live happily together in Yellowstone Park. I don't think that these animals know. They're living on top of a volcano. Mountaineers, we've got our boots, we've got our packs. Up the mountain we go. A slip, a slide, a rumble, a thud, and watch out down below. We climbed the mountain fast, and then even faster, we're down again. 
pothole in. We're going in a grotto. We're going in a cave. We're going to learn about the way cave animals behave. We will need some tall boots, a jumper to keep us warm. We'll go deep inside the cavern to watch those columns form. We might see some swallows. We might see some bats. We might see a raccoon, some bobcats or pack rats. If we go a little further, there might be crickets and flatworms. I hope you're not scared of spiders. This is where they make their homes. But you needn't be afraid, for I'll be there with you. I will show you where to go, and I'll tell you what to do. We'll go into the darkest part. It's pitch black everywhere. You don't want to lose your lights when you're going under there. We may wade through waist-high water. We may climb a rocky wall. We may need to get on all fours, lie on our bellies and crawl. We sometimes squeeze through tight spots. You can't always run around. When you go potholing in a big hole in the ground. Yes, it might be cold in there, but it will be so much fun. You go on, follow the guide. I'll join you when I'm done. Rivers and streams. The hungry rivers wandered. Through the mountains they meandered. Then smelling food they rushed and gushed and swirled. Gorging themselves on the mountains. They cascaded down like fountains. And carved out the great canyons of the world. The little streams rambled. Through the knolls and hills they scrambled, peering into all the hills' small nooks and niches, nibbling on the rocks and stones, like puppies chewing on their bones. They dag out the world's gullies and ditches. The Mountain and I I sit at the foot of the mountain and gaze at the azure sky. And no one sees the sky's sorrow, only the mountain and I. I walk by the side of the mountain, and watch a small stream flow by. And no one hears what it whispers, except the mountain and I. I climb to the top of the mountain, up through the forest so high. And we listen to the mountain's heartbeat, just the mountain and I. No more. No flying frogs glide, no parrots shriek, no crowned eagle with its curved beak. Circles a canopy looking for food, no woodpecker drums on the mahogany wood. No snake curls around tree bark, no tree frogs sing out after dark. No marmoset builds its nest up high, no giant trees reach towards the sky. No orchards bloom up in the tree. No sloths crawl by, slow but free. No monkeys swing from branch to branch, raining down fruits like an avalanche. No jaguars hunt on the forest floor. There is no forest any more. The Angry Sea Today the sea is angry. She's pounding the cliff's face. And all the birds that live there have been driven from their place. Today the sea is angry. She's striding at the beach. And she's chewing up and spewing out everything within her reach. She's battering the shoreline. And in her violent rage, she's snarling like a lion that's been locked up in a cage. Today the sea is angry, and with her massive waves, she bites big chunks out of the rocks, leaving underwater caves. 
Today the sea is angry. Someone has made her mad. Her face looks dark and glowering, like when I've upset Dad. Today the sea is angry, but I'm safe here on the shore. I'm just sorry for those fishes who have made the sea so sore. The ocean. The ocean's a lapdog, licking my toes and chasing the seagulls, the pigeons and crows. The ocean's a pirate, boarding boats with his waves and burying his loot in undersea caves. The ocean's a builder with seashells and sand. He builds towers like mountains on the face of the land. The ocean's a teaser. He lays gifts on the beach, but when you try to collect them, he draws them out of reach. The ocean's a sculptor, and he carves out in stone faces and buildings and creatures unknown. The ocean's a drifter over rocks and on shore. He roams about knocking on each country's door. The ocean's a postman, and year after year, he brings messages in bottles to folks everywhere. The ocean's a parent, tending to the wishes of sailors and bathers, birds, whales and fishes. The ocean is busy, he's got so much to do, but he's never too busy to listen to you. Bored. I'm bored and unhappy, the mountain said. Winter's arrived and the birds have all fled. Snow clouds are gathering overhead. I think I'll put on my ice cap, get under my ice sheet and go to bed. The Little Stream The little stream wanders, twist and meanders. It's searching for something. What can it be? It looks under stones, sifts through dirt, grime and bones. And its soft sun is tinged with misery. It meets other streams, chasing their dreams. It joins them and together they travel and search. Under banks, under bridges, over steep mountain ridges looking under the roots of willow and birch. The little stream's stronger, it's grown wider and longer, but it's still not happy, its song seems to say. I've looked high and low, does anyone know? If I'll ever find it, will I find it today? The little stream's rushing, its waters are gushing, in urgent cascades as it comes round the bend, and it shouts out with glee, i found it, the sea. My searching has finally come to an end. Come to the lake. Come to the lake, and the herons will fly. Look at the water, as blue as the sky. Count all of the geese as they honk in, Pass by, and push your boat on the water. Come to the lake as the meadow larks sing. Look at the swan as he strucks like a king. Feed all the ducks with the bread that you bring. Then jump in your boat on the water. Come to the lake as you slip from the shore. Feel the soft waves on the boat and the oar. Drink in the peace, and your spirits will soar, as you row your boat on the water. Rainforest There is a place where it rains a lot, where trees grow straight and tall. This is the place where the sun shines hot, and the howler monkeys call. 
There is a place where fallen leaves and tree trunks cover the ground. This is the place where the wet soil heaves as beetles scamper around. There is a place where banana trees, giant figs and palm trees grow. This is the place where you can feast on lychees, avocados and juicy mango. This is the place where the orchard blooms, home of toucan and macaw. They capped heron with milk-white plumes, the green snake and the black mamba. There is a place where folks make their home, where they hunt and fish and farm. This is the place from which medicines come, which heal diseases like a charm. This is the place that is trying to survive the tractor's roar. This is the place that is dying, a place that will soon be no more.